Is life constantly unfair? Do your relationships somehow end with you being left behind with a broken heart? Does no one seem to understand you at work? If something keeps happening to us over and over again, chances are the problem isn't other people. If we find the same pattern occurring in our lives, it's time to ask ourselves the question of, is it me? If we are the problem, it doesn't mean we're at fault. And it's not, oh my god, it's me in a paranoid way, or oh my god, it's me in a self-blame way. It's an introspective exploration of what could be causing us to keep recreating and drawing the same situations to ourselves. Because if we do manage to find out, our experiences in life will completely change. We'll begin to draw into our lives the wonderful experiences that we want to have. Because the alternative is to not begin this exploration, not look within ourselves, and go about every day thinking we're trying our best and feeling frustrated when they don't produce any results. It doesn't make sense to do the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. If we want different results from what we've been getting, we have to be doing something different from what we have been doing. To be able to do this, we have to separate our ego and very likely our emotions so that we can look at it from a logical point of view, so that we can approach it like how we would approach any problem. We break it down and we go over it again and again to identify the source of the problem. Most of the time, we address the symptoms of a problem but not the source. For example, we can treat allergies with medicine but the most important thing is to identify what we're allergic to in the first place so that we can stop exposing ourselves to it. And that's the hard part. That takes detective work and looking back into our past. It takes absolute and complete honesty to bear ourselves to ourselves. And the process isn't fun, but the rewards can be amazing. We'll stop pushing for great experiences and instead start pulling them in. And throughout this whole process, remember to be happy always.